Are you struggling with a crying newborn and not sure what to do? It's a common situation that many find themselves in. Remember, crying is simply a baby's primary means of communication. It's how they express their needs to you. But don't worry, we're here to help. We'll be sharing tips that will not only help you understand why your baby is crying, but also how to soothe their tears. Today, we'll share some practical and easy to follow tips to help you comfort your newborn. First, understand why babies cry. It's their way of telling you something. Imagine being in a world where you can't express yourself with words. Babies are similar, using tears as their language to communicate with you. There are many reasons why a baby might cry. Hunger is a big one, as their little tummies can't hold much food. Tiredness is another common reason. Just like us, babies can get cranky when they are tired. A dirty diaper can also cause discomfort leading to tears. Sometimes your little one just needs a bit of comfort. A gentle cuddle or a lullaby can work wonders. And of course, crying can be a sign of illness, signaling that your baby isn't feeling well. However, don't be alarmed if your baby cries without any apparent reason. It's completely normal. Babies cry, it's part of their growth and development. Once you understand the reasons, it becomes easier to address the issue and soothe your baby. Now that you understand why babies cry, let's explore some ways to soothe them. Firstly, it's essential to ensure your baby's basic needs are met. A common reason for a baby's tears is hunger. Try feeding your baby, they might just be asking for a little nourishment. And remember, newborns need to be fed quite frequently, so it's perfectly normal if your little one is hungry again just an hour or so after their last meal. After feeding, it's also important to burp your baby. This helps to relieve any discomfort caused by air swallowed during feeding, which can make your baby feel full and uncomfortable. Another comforting technique is swaddling. Wrapping your baby snugly in a blanket can mimic the feeling of being in the womb, providing a sense of security and warmth. But remember, not all babies like to be swaddled, so if your baby resists, it's okay to try something else. Consider using a pacifier. For some babies, sucking is a soothing activity. If your baby seems to enjoy sucking but isn't hungry, a pacifier can provide the comfort they're seeking. Movement can also be a powerful soother. Try rocking or walking with your baby. The rhythmic motion replicates the sensation they experience before birth, providing a familiar and comforting experience. White noise is another technique to consider. The sound mimics the constant whooshing noise your baby heard in the womb, which can be very soothing. There are plenty of white noise machines available, or you can simply use a fan or a white noise app on your smartphone. Finally, a warm bath can work wonders. The warm water is reminiscent of the amniotic fluid in the womb, providing a sense of comfort and relaxation. Remember, each baby is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. It may take a little trial and error to find the right combination of soothing techniques for your little one. Remember, patience is key. It may take a few tries to figure out what works best for your baby. Sometimes a baby's cry could indicate a more serious issue. It's crucial to pay attention to signs that could suggest a health problem. These might include a high fever, which is when a baby's body temperature is significantly above the average level. Vomiting or diarrhea could also be a cause for concern, particularly if it's persistent. It might be a sign of an infection or other medical condition that needs immediate attention. An unusual rash is another potential indicator of a health issue. If it's spreading quickly, or comes with other symptoms like fever or irritability, it's time to call a doctor. And lastly, if your baby is inconsolable for several hours, this could be a sign of discomfort or pain. It's important not to ignore this. In all these cases, it's paramount to seek medical help. Trust your instincts, you know your baby better than anyone else. In such cases, don't hesitate to seek help from a healthcare professional. Caring for a newborn can be challenging, but it's also a rewarding experience. We've explored why babies cry, shared tips to soothe your little one, and discussed when it's time to seek medical help. But let's not forget, each baby is unique. What soothes one might not soothe another, so don't be disheartened if a method doesn't work immediately. Keep trying, keep learning. You're doing a great job, and remember you're not alone in this journey.